Good morning, Gemini. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Gemini, this is going to be your timeless reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take all resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign, and any other placements that you may resonate with. All right, so Gemini, we're going to shuffle this. Uh, we're going to shuffle it three more times, and then we're going to uh, shake these ruins up, and then we're going to split the deck. That way, um, we get clear messages, all right, for you guys. So we're going to we're gonna split this, divide this now, okay. <laughs> all right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, there we go, there we go. All right, so that's all set. Shake this up. All right, cool. There we go. Okay, so Gemini, there could be a fork in the road, so there could be some decisions that you are needing to make during this time. Um, you co also could be a bit defensive on your situation. Um, maybe there are things happening around you that you're just... Um, trying to tell people to like knock it off like you know because it's really like disrespecting you all right um and then this also means protection all right so you could be very protected right now so maybe someone's defending you in your honor and um yeah so you have for your cards here, you have the Hermit, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the, the Eight of Swords. You also have the Ace of Pentacles, so there could be some abundance coming your way during this time. It does look like uh, you're going to be listening to your intuition and doing things that feel necessary or that's going to keep the balance in the situation um if you're dealing with a lover your lover is going to be defending you and uh choosing you over anyone else um which is good that's what you want this also the lovers is also gemini so that could just be representing you feeling very loved up and choosing yourself over anyone else during this time and you're not really caring about what other people think because you're defensive about yourself you have those two swords you're kind of putting them down because you know what sword you want to choose so you're just like all right i have my sword i can defend myself now right so you're really defensive and you're protected so there could be someone that's protecting you during this time uh whether it's your angels or just people around you uh that really have your back um, which is good, uh, but there's still something that you're not seeing. Uh, maybe you're not seeing the whole picture about something, about a situation. Uh, you could just be looking back at the past and not really seeing what you have right now. Like you're not appreciating what the two cups that you have. Instead, you're looking down at the three cups that are spilled, or maybe you're looking back at a situation and you're like, wow, that situation really messed me up or I can't believe I was so blind to like believe all those lies that they were telling me and you're finally defending yourself and doing what's best for you during this time. All right, so I'm going to clarify the Six of Pentacles. I know I didn't really talk about that. So tell me more about the Six of Pentacles Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles for Gemini. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles for Gemini. So, for the signs that I see, I see Gemini, Virgo, and Libra. All right. Uh, you do have some water here, and not really any fire, but I'm sure fire will pop up. There you go. You got the Queen of Wands, and you have the nine of of wands in reverse so with the nine of wands being in reverse it means this person's not really scared to defend themselves 
Um, this could be you standing in your power. Maybe you have a fire moon or like a fire uh, sun and you're watching this because you have a Gemini moon or whatever it is. But you're really standing in your power and you're making moves that are going to help you out in the long run. And you don't really care what anyone has to say because you know what you're doing is right. Um, and you're not afraid to defend yourself for it. You also have the world's card in reverse. So you're ending cycles and you're no longer having to depend on anyone because the world's card also um, represents like bondage, like being attached to someone. Um, that's just how I see it because, um, you know, you have that, that ribbon that's kind of like the infinity sign, but it's also like stuck together and, you know, kind of codependent now you're being a bit more independent and you know free and willing to do whatever it takes to get what you desire right um you do have the queen of wands here so it's taking action when necessary not really taking action to everything and like every little thing that needs taking action you're kind of pacing yourself doing what's best for you and what's best for the outcome of the situation all right, so we're going to pull three more cards, and then we're going to use the Spirit of the Wheel Meditation deck. All right? So we're just going to pull three cards right in the middle, and yeah. So basically, what I got from that was you're being more independent, and you're balancing things out with what thing like with things that are necessary. Not thing, You're not taking action towards things that are unnecessary or are just like a want right you're doing things that you need to do in order to improve yourself which is good all right cool cool cool, cool. you have the higher font in reverse the knight of sword the knight of wands why i say the knight of swords i don't know but and then you have the moon moon cards in reverse so there could be a bit unbalanced. You could be a bit unbalanced, and that's why you're seeking out to be more balanced and to be more independent. Um, but you will be making a decision on what you want to do uh, whenever you are watching this reading. Um, there could be a Pisces involved that wants to take action towards you. Um, but it looks like you're going to be saying no to this person. Even though it's in the upright, it maybe so because the knight of wands is like flighty energy it's in and out energy it's not really sure what they want but they're just going towards it because they want to go towards it and it's also the knight of sword the knight of wands really talks about um you know like going in having sex and then coming right out because they it wasn't a stable foundation or that's they just wanted to have sex and that was it um, but maybe in the past, this could be an ex coming back from the past and they're wanting to make things better with you, but you already found your lovers, right? You found your other half and this person isn't it. And maybe you're deciding between two people and that's why, you know, this other person is here. But you know who you want and who you deserve. And that's going to change things a lot for you. All right. So let's see what the Spirit of the Wheel Meditation Deck has to say. Let's see what you guys got to say. All right. So this is going to be any advice that you are needing to hear during this time. Any advice from your spirit team. That you are needing to hear during this time. All right, and if you are uh, liking or and resonating with the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel. All right. So one more shuffle, one more shuffle. Here we go. Cool, 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 cool. You got clarity, breakthrough, inner vision, and truth. So the truth is going to be coming out about a situation. You could be getting recognition from people, like people realizing, wow, this person was actually telling the truth. Like, 
this whole time we were believing one big lie and this person we weren't believing them even though they were telling us you know the right thing right and then you have self-reflection inner rhythms and intuition so you're really going to be listening to your intuition during this time and that is you know great advice to just listen to your intuition do what feels necessary or feels right for you and you will get the clarity that you need um you will be doing some self-reflection that could be why the five of cups is here so you're kind of looking back at the past and realizing a situation wasn't the greatest and that you have improved so much since then all right so for that being said the i see feathers i see the owl and i see some wolves so and a bald eagle so those could be part of your spirit team or some synchronicities that you may be looking out for during this time so maybe you're going to be seeing an owl or a hawk um and, or maybe just some brown feathers or feathers you know feathers represent angels so whenever you see a feather you know out of nowhere and there's like no bird or anything just know that an angel is looking after you and that things are going to be okay all right so gemini i hope you guys enjoyed this message if you did please like comment and subscribe namaste i'll see you guys next time peace and if you would like to follow me on instagram or twitter the links will be down in the description below and if you have time click on one of those pop-up videos and check out one of my other videos all right see you guys next time